tucked away in an inauspicious lane just off Pollock Shores Road in the south side of Glasgow, opposite Queen's Park, lurks Jimmy Moon's Guitar Workshop. A thriving nexus hub of craftsmen working with wood, metal and steel, creating marvellous Luthian instruments. Let's go in and check it out for ourselves. I first stumbled across Jimmy Moon's Guitar Workshop more than 15 years ago, and I regularly pop back to check out his new instruments. This is where it all happens, eh? I'm, I feel very privileged, Jimmy, to be in this part of the shop. I've never been this far in before, behind the scenes to where it all really happens. How did you get into guitar making, Jimmy? Uh, I suppose I was an apprentice engineer uh, in the 60s, and, you know, I just... I don't know where it all came from. We established the business in Arden in Lamlash at a, with the farm cottage and the farmer let me put a, a shed onto the side and uh, you know, I started, I was there for doing it there for about maybe six, seven years. You're a husband and wife team. <laughs> yes, <laughs> absolutely. How long have you been working together? Ever since the business started really. We've been married for 30 something years, four I think this year, 34 years. And we've been in business since 1979. Since the advent of the internet, how have you seen a small business change in that way? Um, quite uh, dramatically. You know, in the past it was, it was a very long-winded affair of you got an inquiry from America or say Japan or whatever. It, it was done by snail mail and it took weeks and weeks and weeks to try and work out exactly what the customer wanted, whereas now it can all be done in a matter of days. <laughs> Just out in the hall, you got Brian Adams out there, mm -hmm. and Huey from the Fun Loving Criminals, and Big Country Stuart yeah. Adams. And you, so you've had clients, but also people who come through town who need emergency repairs to yeah. instruments they might have chucked through a window or something like that. As well, well, it's just uh, aircraft travel breaks a lot of guitars, you know, and we, you know, stars that are coming into town, you know, they need things fixed instantly. So, you know, that's one of the services we provide. Mm -hmm. We've had through the door then. Ah, uh, a kiss. Really? We've had, uh, it's hard to imagine kissing Bollock Shaw's Road, isn't it? With their makeup on, they yeah. <laughs> Mary Chapin Carpenter. Oh, wow. Uh, you know, Steve Earle. Brilliant. Uh, you know, Brian on. Adams. And, uh, Brian Adams. And I suppose it's continuing to happen. The more people that come through Glasgow to play gigs or Scotland. Yeah, just now we're, we're doing some work for the Fratellis, who are, you know, kind of, you know, doing really well from Scotland. And, you know, see a lot of these, you know, a lot of, I don't know most of them now, you know, I used to know, you know, Delamitri's and Deacon Blue and all these people, I knew them all personally. My daughter told me that, you know, she was talking to the guys out of, um, I, I can't remember the name, one of the big Scottish bands, and she said, you know, that, you know, they said, well, my dad's Jimmy Moon, they said, oh, yeah, he fixes the guitars, and I said, I didn't know that. I think it was Franz Ferdinand. And it's not just you that works, you've now managed to delegate, there's two other chaps. Well, I've got two really fantastic the craftsmen that are working with mm -hmm. me. Uh, one's Ennis Thompson from, from Fair Island, Shetland, and uh, Stephen Devine, he's, he's, a, he's a Pollock man, you know, so. Can I, can I ask you what you're doing? Uh, this is a, this is base coat that's been applied. Uh, so I'm just cutting it back um, with 400 grit uh, sandpaper before I can apply the next coats. Once the gloss goes on and it's polished, it's like glass. Got the patience of Joe can take this back to the white and, and get that. Yeah, I have, I have very little patience. So. <laughs> very little patience in anything else apart from this one job that you do very, yeah. very patiently. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Tell the rest of them I'm not that patient either. <laughs> <laughs> from a basic mandolin range through uh, um, the A style family, which is like bazookis and mandolas, and then onto, onto like acoustic guitars. We've got a couple of body shapes. We do like a fairly standard small guitar, like, and then up to a D size, like, and then we do the, up to a super jumbo if somebody wants it. Basically, we do most things. Like, yeah, and whatever you know. people want, you'll do. I guess. Yeah, pretty much. Like. Yeah. Well, a lot of what we do is, you know, we're talking to musicians, and they want us, you know, a, a separate, you know, a, either a specialised sound or a special neck or a certain radius and fingerboards or a type of fret. And, you know, there's all the little things. It's mm. something that's in your hands. It's very important that it, that it fits. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's like a high-end tool, it's something that's, that's crafted to, a, to do a specific job for a specific person. Yeah. The instrument will eventually get a tailpiece that will sit on here, 
Oh, good God. Sympathetic strings. Yes, and there's going to be a, a saddle yeah. installed here. And it'll come up and the nut will extend out uh, to take oh, 16 that. strings. Mm -hmm. To be able to make instruments for a living is realistically it's a paid hobby. You know what I mean? I'm pretty lucky. We well, can offer something just that little bit special. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, my my Squire Stratocaster broke years ago, but my my Moon Telecaster is still going strong. Thanks very much for that, by the way. <laughs>